What's going on everybody and welcome back to my Battle Royale series episode number 85 and as you saw in the last episode I took a loss that I definitely shouldn't have in my own opinion but hey a loss is a loss nothing you can do about it also adjusted my audio settings a little bit for this video so let me know what you guys think about the sound of it I'm trying to get it so it doesn't notice it crackles a bit more at a higher pitch so I'm trying to fix that up a bit so we're two and one looking to see what our six gamer looking to see what our six game reward is here alrighty so we are playing against the dingers and he's I don't know if he's ever played battle royale because he just left his lineup as like catch your first well I haven't I've have not seen that in a while um but yeah that's interesting alright so we'll see the records I don't know what his record is going to be I guess we'll see. 54 and 173. Alright, high fastball. High fastball here. 0 2 count. Strikeout Eric Hosmer. Really? Well, if he's not going to give us that call, I guess we're just going to have to get him swinging on a curve. And that's what we do. Two outs now. First strikeout for Eobaldi. No, he doesn't. He quit. Alright, give us the win. Let's go. Game number one. Done in this episode, and we're gonna see who our sixth game reward is. Our sixth game is Jason Hamill. So we are playing against the Expos. Red Locker is gonna be his diamond, obviously 99. Um, Giancarlo Stanton, power, power hitter. Xander Bogarts, good contact hitter, and has enough pop to hit a home run. Todd Frazier, home run hitter as well. Bradley Jr., good speed, gotta have leading off. We got De La Rosa starting again. He's got Tim Lenscombe, probably the bronze. That's that's what I'm betting on, anyways. All right. No, oh, well his record showed up. I just didn't look at it. Really? Two-two count to Mike Cho. Lenscombe left that right down the middle. If that doesn't get out, oh, off the wall. All right. It's a double. It's a one-out double. I'll take that. We drove that pitch though. I mean that was center cut. That was a center cut fastball. Look at that. All right, Daniel Murphy. Uh, he left that hanging. That's should be gone. Daniel Murphy. There we go. I'll take that one. Two-run shot right there. We're ahead. That was a slider right down the middle. Please don't quit. All right, he stayed in. He stayed in the game. Jake Lamb now. Lamb. Lamb. Let's go. Back-to-back -back shots. That one going closer to Triples Alley. That was another pretty deep shot. 415 feet. Sort of backdoor the slider, but have it below the zone. Cover that bag. Cover the bag. Jump throw. You dropped it. Elevate the fastball this time. Let's just put it out of the zone. He's taking off. Gosh. What is that? What is that? Two errors this inning. That guy shouldn't even be on base. Oh, his contact zone's just too big. Going back to the high fastball. That's a good pitch, though. Let's go. Striking out. Barry Bonds and James Loney up now. Change up. Get us ahead. Or get us out of the inning. Or not. Three errors. Three errors this inning. Well, we should still be up three zip, but hey. When errors screw you, they screw you. We strike out Stanton, though. It only gave us two errors. I would give my team three. Russell Martin, my first baseman, and my third baseman, who couldn't handle a ground ball to him for some reason or another. We are bringing in... Kenley Jensen. He can give us two innings of work out of the pen. Don't want to allow a man on base, because then a shot will tie it up, but that should strike him out there. Two away. I mean, that thing looked like it's the one that bites you and leaves a mark, too. Not messing around with that. If I see a daddy long leg, I'll leave it. But if it's one of those things, uh-uh, not leaving that. It's every single batter I've struck out has been on the curve. He just cannot lay off Kenley Jensen's curveball. <laughs> I actually may have to invest in this Jensen and get rid of his um, diamond. One strike away, we're done. Let's... <laughs> when you just had enough and try to bunt and miss it for strike three. There we go. Daniel Murphy, MVP. So I'll see you with the ratings. 
Alrighty, so I wish I was still undefeated and be 6-0, and or 5-0, and whatever I'd be. I think I'd be 6, I don't even know. So this guy was a 16-19 rating, alright. And we are now 4-1. and one. Wish I was 5-0. But so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Peace!